New at 6 tonight, the owner of an iconic Brooklyn restaurant says no way to tens of millions of dollars from developers. Junior's is not for sale, and the New York institution will continue serving what's been called the best cheesecake around. CBS 2's John Slattery has the story. Who would turn down $45 million so he could keep serving customers? Alan Rosen. Yeah, a lot of people have said to me, you know, you could have cashed out and got out, but you know what? We love this business. The business is Junior's Restaurant, founded in 1950 by Rosen's grandfather. I know Junior's from the time I was a little kid. Junior's has satellite locations in Times Square and Grand Central, but the flagship restaurant is here in Brooklyn serving dinners and desserts. In 64 years, a phenomenal number of cheesecakes have been sold, more than a million a year. Outside on Flatbush Avenue, developers have put up numerous high-rises, dwarfing Junior's humble two stories. Over the past year, the family considered offers to sell the building, but they didn't want to move. They wanted to stay put. It was a tough decision, but I feel like it's the right one today. I feel great today. Waiter Peter Tyson has been here 30 years. I think it's a great thing. Great thing for Brooklyn. Great thing for Brooklyn. This customer says he's dined here for 45 years, five days a week. And 15-year customer Willie Scott applauds the decision of turning down $45 million. He said, no, thank you. That's who he is. That's who he is. He's about Brooklyn. He's about juniors. That's it, period. So as Brooklyn continues to grow and develop, one institution will stay, serving one customer at a time. In downtown Brooklyn, John Slattery, CBS 2 News. Alan Rosen says not selling will keep 175 people employed. The founder named the restaurant Juniors because he liked the name.